Hello my dear friends, we are on the second day of the Novena to St. Joseph and today I would like to share with you St. Joseph the most obedient. We all know that St. Joseph is always compared for his purity to the lily of the field and we often see how he was chaste in his heart and how he was so pure in thought, word and deed. But about obedience, I would like to share with you my dear friends, we see he obeyed every time the Lord revealed to him the plans through the simple dreams. Four dreams we find in the Gospels where we find the mention about Saint Joseph. Everything the Lord spoke to Saint Joseph was through simple dreams. But the very simple dreams he obeyed and that is where his obedience is very significant my dear friends. And this virtue is also for the religious, it's a vow because every religious community is bound by this virtue of obedience. Otherwise, you can see so much of chaos, disorder. And even in the families, this obedience is the thing that binds between the husband and wife, between the parents and the children. When this becomes shattered, then the family life is ruined, also the religious life is ruined, also the life in the society is also ruined. And therefore, we have obedience as the theme today to ask for the favor from St. Joseph to intercede for us to obtain this wonderful virtue, namely obedience. And my dear friends, when we say of obedience, we have to obey the spiritual laws which are given from God. And there are also natural laws which we know. And there is also some a simple practical exhortation and therefore obedience refers to all field that is required of us. My dear friends, if you are a patient, you are obliged to obey the doctors for the moral principles. And also if you are belonging to a family, you are certainly obliged to obey your parents. And between the classroom, between the teacher and students, this kind of obedience is also expected. And therefore obedience in all sorts of possibilities, it gives you not only a demand, but also a lot of grace. Every virtue is always attached to many benefits with that. And Don Bosco said, it is obedience which will make the congregation go for a long time. And because without obedience, in modern times when there are more challenges, we would easily be given according to our own whims and fancies. Each one will think that what I do is the only right and the all others are doing not the right. And this kind of subjectivity would be dominant and therefore this obedience is another important practical virtue, my dear friends. To listen to the voice of God, to the Holy Spirit is basically for our own spiritual life and also to make a family and the society more understandable, more friendly where this virtue of obedience is really observed. And therefore, we need to ask for St. Joseph for this special favor. Whatever prayer we ask, we shall ask with sincerity of heart and we believe that we would be receiving it from the grace of God through the intercession of St. Joseph. So my dear friends, today when your intention is mentioned today, please do ask St. Joseph for this special favor to obey everyone with love and therefore we get lot of grace also and also any other intentions you have. But focus mainly on this virtue of obedience because St. Joseph is known for his obedience to the will of God. Glory to Jesus. Ave Maria.